Okay, I'm going to go ahead and introduce Jan uh, week four to you, which is January the 28th through the 3rd. Um, this is review and it's assessment. You're going to want to review pages 115 to 142, which is all of chapter four, as well as pages 10, 12, 25 through 29, 30, 62, 67, 83, and 86. At the end of this week, students should be able to use chapter four vocabulary to write a paragraph about your families. In this paragraph, students should be able to relate the names of at least four family members, their ages, the relationship of each person to the student, a few activities that each family member does in his or her free time, as well as activities that the student and each family, family member do together. Students should also use adjectives, adjective agreement rules, article noun agreement rules, and regular present tense verbs to write this paragraph. All of this work is due by the 31st of um, January. Um, there are no instructor videos this week, um, all you, but you do need to open up the class participation form and then click on the thread and hit reply and hit and post any questions or concerns you have about the material that's been covered in class this week or in any weeks previous. Um, for writing assignment, um, we're gonna, this writing assignment we're gonna workshop. So you are gonna create your first draft, you're gonna open it up you're going to hit start preparing your submission and then you're going to write a paragraph in which you um, you have a you have a group of international friends who want to know more about your family so you're going to update your blog with a short paragraph that satisfies their curiosity you're going to tell the names and ages of at least four people in your family their relationship to you a few activities they do in their free time and activities you do together so you're going to write all of this in spanish um, then you're going to, so you'll hit start preparing your submission, you'll write all of it in Spanish and hit save changes, um, and then it will come to me, okay? The next week, this workshop you'll see down in the next February, the week of February the 4th through the 10th, and when you click on it, you won't see your submission anymore, you're going to see someone else's submission, you'll go through and critique their writing as well as I will do that the same, and then the week following that, you're going to click on this workshop again, and you'll see your submission with feedback, and you'll use that feedback to write your final draft, which you'll actually get a, um, a writing grade for. Um, we're also going to take a test, um, test two, which is on the second half of chapter four on um, Thursday in class. And you should also see your oral dialogue right here. You'll open it up. You created a script last week. It's, uh, it's in the week above still. Um, this will get moved down here and when you open it you won't have a place for you to do a submission you'll see somebody else's submission you're to use the rubric and the feedback section in it to go through and critique someone else's script I will also go through it and then next week you will be able to open it up and use that script to create your recording um, which will actually be your first oral dialogue recording okay so test two, chapter four looks like this. We're gonna take it in class. It says, listen carefully to each sentence and identify the direct object. Then choose the sentence that correctly replaces the direct object with a pronoun. So I will read a sentence aloud to you that will have a direct object in it. You are gonna then pick the statement below that um, correctly replaces the direct object with its pronoun. Okay, here, sabes identificar el objeto directo. Your roommate needs to write a paper for a composition class and finds that her writing is very repetitive. Show her how to identify the direct objects in a sentence so he, she can replace them with pronouns. For each sentence below, choose the word that is the direct object. So you'll read this sentence here, decide which is the direct object, and then circle it down here. Uh, and you'll do that for all of those. Um, then you come here, still direct objects, escribir pronombres de objeto directo, complete the following sentences with the correct direct object pronoun. You'll read this sentence, identify your direct object, then replace it with a pronoun and rewrite the sentence here. I mean, the sentence is already rewritten. All you gotta do is plug in the direct object pronoun. And do that for all of those. Um, then down here we've got vocabulary, preferencias, a group of friends are discussing the activities they do in their free time. Complete each sentence with an appropriate word from the word bank. Be sure to use each word only once. So you'll read these sentences and then you'll complete them with a word from the word bank. Okay. 
¿Cuál es correcto? Your classmate wrote some sentences in Spanish to practice demonstrative adjectives. However, he can't remember the gender of his nouns. Help him by selecting the demonstrative adjective that correctly completes each statement or question. Um, and remember your direct object, your, I'm sorry, demonstrative adjectives have to agree with the noun that they describe. So if this word is masculine plural, then you should be picking a masculine plural demonstrative adjective, okay? Um, so you pick the correct one, and you'll also be looking for words like aya and aki, which tell you also which direct a demonstrative adjective to be using. Remember, um, este and estos are close to you, esos, uh, ese and estos a little bit far from you, and aquel, aquelios very far from you. Um, saber and conocer, complete the sentences with the correct form of either saber or conocer. Be sure to make any necessary changes to the verb form. So you'll pick between saber and conocer, and then you need to make the spelling of saber and conocer reflect who it is that's doing the knowing. Okay? Um, and that's everything that you have to do for this week.